guys, what's up? They have got some really cute coach bags today at Savers. These are the ones that are all locked up, so you can't just purchase them right off. You have to have somebody take them off. But this really cute orange tote is 50 bucks. Here's this one. I can't see what the inside looks like. I'm assuming it's in decent condition, but I'm not sure. I just like the silver, the color, and the little twist lock on the front pocket. So there's that one I thought was really cute. Um, this one's only 25 a good deal but I'm not gonna get this one because the Jacquard signature is getting harder to sell so we're gonna pass on it but it's a pretty bag um, it's in nice condition on the inside oh, this one's really cute I like this one uh, the condition on this one is bad that one's no good uh, let's see they've got that one still here this one is still here and this one is still here, along with the blue. And then this is my favorite. I love this one. But I'm not paying a hundred bucks. They want a hundred dollars for this. Um, it's got wear on the corners. And I just want to make a note that the person or the people that price these, it's not their fault, the ones that tag the items and put them out. There's a certain manager at this store in particular that makes them raise the prices. I'm not going to say who he is, but he's the one that um, she marks them at a purchasable price, but he'll tell her to take the price off and make it more expensive. So pretty messed up, if you ask me. But there you go. Um, really pretty blush colored crossbody and leather for a hundred. And then this one here is 70. It's kind of a dark burnt orange sort of color. Um, there's this coach tote. I like this one as well, and they want 80 for this one. I remember when these bags used to be around 10 or 15 bucks. Those days are long, long gone. And then this is a really pretty coach well. And all that I'm showing you right now are, are all, all are authentic. And they want $80 for this one. So that one's not gonna happen either. And then of course, they've still got this little guy down here for 70 that's been here. And then let's move over here to this rack. They have a hideous plastic Gucci 480. Fake, fake as can be. Um, this one is like one of the worst fakes I've seen yet, Gucci. 80 bucks. I wouldn't even pay $2.99 for that, you guys. Uh, this is, let's see, is this fake? Yes, this is a fake little Prada baguette. They want 80 as well. And how, one of the reasons I know is because when you pull on the front, it shouldn't be able to lift, and it does. And plus, it's really bad quality. You can't really tell on camera, but it is. And another super fake Gucci for another 80 bucks. And then this plastic Prada for 50. 50 bucks for this plastic. Um, not good, not good at all, guys. So let's go over here to the rack of bags and see how you're doing. See how, I just asked how she was doing, somebody just said hi. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hi, so we'll take you over here and let's see what's Hello, going wonderful. on. Hello. He's one of mine and Rand's friends. Good friend, good friend. I've got you guys a Margot backpack right there. So maybe somebody would like to, to take that one off my hands. Um, if you're new here, my name's Kim. I'm purse tripping as we speak. And what I do is I repurpose handbags, wallets, accessories. I have my own website that you can check out. I'll have it linked below. It's pursetrippin.com. Also, um, any of the items that I find today, for instance, I'll do a little vlog car haul when we're uh, in the car after we leave here. And I'll have all of the prices for you. And you can purchase straight away right through PayPal uh, before I even list them on my website. So that's always a fun option. You just got to know that all sales are final and when I'm selling items 
um, right after the vlogs. All sales are, are only, all sales are final and I ship only within the US. But if you wanna purchase off of our website, mine and my daughter's website, then I will ship to Canada. So yeah, it's working out super, super fantastic. Okay, anybody need a Louis Vuitton? That's a cute little, very vintage, very vintage, like a briefcase style. Um, let's see here. Definite leather on the inside. Um, I'm positive it's, well, I'm not positive because I've never had it authentic. I'm, don't have it authenticated, nor do I authenticate any of my items, but it's a cute piece. And I don't know, you could totally use it as like a clutch bag too. But, hmm, not gonna get it. Sorry friends, probably somebody's like, oh my gosh, sorry Charlie's, not gonna get it. What kind of wallets do you guys have today? As you know, as some of you know, I am being picky as heck with what I get now. Um, you have to be now, because I want to get you guys the best the things that you really love and stuff that won't set in my inventory so what's that that's cute actually oh sorry this leather yeah this is leather so who are you when there's leather trim genuine leather trim always want to check the tag no it's not leather just kidding yep universal thread not leather the universal thread, by the way, is Target, in case you were wondering. So we're going to put that one back. Okie my loves. Here it is, haul portion of the video. Items will be listed below in the description box. I didn't get a whole lot of video in there because I had lots of friends coming up and saying hello and we were just chit-chatting and stuff. So I did try to get the best of the best things I could find for you though. And we're gonna start off with this gorgeous leather coach wallet. It's a long accordion wallet. It's got the snake embossed leather trim on the front. It does have a light gold hardware and taupe, uh, like a cross grain, kind of a pebbled leather. So this in itself right here is a pocket. The inside is a, is a um, cream colored Safiano with lots of pockets and a zipper over here. Nice and clean, beautiful, beautiful coach wallet. Okay. Also picked up this little beauty a Safiano orange key card wallet by Coach. Writing on this is silver. Hardware is silver. Um, it's got the little card slots, an ID window, and pouch on the back. And this is the coin compartment. Perfectly clean, perfect condition. And there's a little keychain on it. It's cute, right? Okay. This is for my leather lovers, my hardcore leather lovers, the one that like the vintage age look. This is beautiful. Let's get it out here for you. It's embossed and it's a very deep, deep chocolate brown saddle leather. This is all embossed on the front. Hopefully you can see that. Yeah, you can kind of, kind of see it. And it's got like a basket weave look embossed on the front. Got this little pocket here. Actually, this is the back I think I'm showing you. Slip pocket back here. And then this would be the front. Can you guys see all the embossing on it? And the natural, um, the natural colors, the way the like the scratches, the patina. It's beautiful. 
Um, it's got a pocket here on the side. And then it's got another one right here that zips as well. So two little front zipper pockets, um, silver hardware, and it has a zip top closure. And this pretty guy is by a company, a leather company called uh, Olmos, O-L-M-O-S Collection. Inside you've got two open pockets and a zipper pocket. Nice and roomy. Um, it's got really pretty veining and wrinkles on the side. Also on this side. Trying to get it. There we go. You guys can see that. The bottom looks great with the feet. And the straps also. Great condition. Nice big leather, hardcore leather tote. Really, really pretty. So there's that. And then going to a completely opposite style. And um, completely different from this. If you're not that kind of a lover, lover, then maybe you'll love this My Melody Loungefly satchel. Sanrio Loungefly. And look at all the precious little uh, little guys on the front. Adorable. Sanrio, the My Melody was my favorite when I was a little girl out of the Hello Kitty collection. And the sides look like this. This one is in new condition. Lavender and it's the ombre on the back, like baby blue, baby blue, lavender, pink, and a mint on the back. A lavender strap, lavender handles, everything on this bag is in perfect condition. Doesn't even look like it's been worn. The zip top closure. And the inside is a really sweet knit green with an inner pocket and it's perfectly clean. I know somebody will love this. I sure do. I love it. I think it's so precious. The side has got little uh, camera, ice cream, little piano, little stick horse, all kinds of really cool stuff. Like a birthday party. Little unicorn cake. So cute. Okay. And then, last but not least, is it Stella McCartney? It is not Stella McCartney, but in my opinion, it's better because it's a thick leather, a really thick leather with very substantial chain. So this looks just like the Falabella, I think it's called. And it's a gunmetal or pewter leather. Um, it's got a really neat sheen to it and crackly. It's really cool, very, very cool. It's got the crossbody strap with it. This too is in perfect condition magnetic snap closure and it's by Trouvé. Okay, it has the zipper pocket and two open pockets and it's perfectly clean all the way. It's, it's in excellent condition. It's in su superb condition inside and out and it does have the snap top closure magnetic. And it flaps over like so. Love it so much. Super great bag. So, my question to you, would you pay, would you rather pay, if it were you and you had the, to, to pick between the, the two, would you rather have the exact bag in vegan leather uh, for over, I think these are, I'm gonna say between 800 and 1,000, I wanna say, or even more than 1,000 on the, um, Stella McCartney, or would you be the person, and you want it because of the name, or would you want to be the person that would get the exact same style, 
but genuine leather and at the time of retail pay about 250 so does the name matter to you or does the quality or I'd love to know down below what your thoughts are on that if it were me I would prefer not the name and a really good leather with the exact same look now by no means does it say Fella Bella on it anywhere um, but it is you know it's just I'm very curious and please don't be afraid to say hey you know what I'd rather carry the name I like the name because and then just let me know or you know what no I don't want the name I'd rather have it one that's leather and less price but I would really love to know everybody's opinions whether you know whichever I'm not judging I'm just super curious so please let me know in the comments below which bag was your favorite and what your feelings are on the Stella McCartney prices with this bag that's vegan or the exact same style in leather um, for a lesser price at retail okay all right you guys thank you so much for joining me and I hope everybody has a fantastic rest of your day bye bye everybody